everybody and welcome to our Booty and Legs Workout 11. And for this workout, you're gonna need a few pieces of equipment. Um, we're gonna need a pair of dumbbells, a kettlebell, you're gonna need some kind of um, step up or a tiny little box, even yoga blocks would do, or a low chair. Uh, you're gonna need a bench or a sofa or a high chair as well. Um, booty band for activation, so I have here a lighter one and of course exercise mat. So today we're gonna have three parts in this workout. First we're gonna start with activation because I know you love activation so I prepared for you an awesome one. Then we're gonna go into the exercises, we have five of them and then at the end we're gonna do a burnout. All right, so before we're starting, uh, I'm gonna go through all of the exercises and then we're gonna do this workout together. All right, so um, first I'm gonna explain to you all of the exercises, then we're gonna go to activation. First one is a squat with your dumbbells. So just a regular goblet squat, having the weights in front of you, or you can also have them here next uh, by your side. And you're just gonna go down and you're gonna come up, okay, for the 10 reps. And for the final five, we're gonna do pulses, okay. Uh, make sure that you're pressing your hips backwards and the tension is um, in your glutes, of course, and you come up and you squeeze it, all right. So the second one, we're gonna have side lunge to curtsy. So very stable exercise in my workout so we're gonna go to the side lunge and then you're gonna go into the curtsy okay you can also drop the weight if you need to for this exercise um, then we're gonna do the deficit back lunges which means we're gonna step with the one leg on a, a little uh, step up okay and then you're just gonna step back coming back up and step back. So this will give you a deeper range of motion and it will target your glutes way more. Okay, and then we have kettlebell swings. And this time I went up to 40 reps, so it's gonna be pretty intense. Again, shoulders back and down, engaging your core, hinging your hips backwards, grabbing your kettlebell and then Swing forward, momentum goes through your hips and so on, abs engaged. Okay, then what we're gonna do for the last exercise is elevated lunges. You can grab one of um, your weight. So you can put your foot up on the bench or sofa or chair. You can have it like this. Uh, or you can tuck your toes and we're gonna go down very deeply yeah the deeper you go the more your glutes will work the closer you are to the bench like this yeah? get the balance the more your quads will work okay so you can choose you can play around what you want to target you want to target more of your quads or you want to target more of your glutes just move your leg forward and backwards all right, so those are the exercises. Uh, for the burnout, we're gonna do hip thrust, but then I'm gonna show you when we come to that at the end. And now we're gonna do the activation with the booty band. So prepare your booty band. I have a lighter one here. You can also have a medium. Uh, don't go heavy, because uh, with heavy, you don't have really this uh, big range of motion. And first, we're just gonna go for the sidewalks, alongside your mat, abs engaged, okay? So we're gonna go for 40 reps, so 20 reps standing and 20 reps in squat. Okay, ready? Let's go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good, now go down to the squat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, whoo, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, I'm sure you felt it. A slight little tension, which is already, it's very good. Okay, so next one we're going to do the kickbacks. Uh, you can grab onto the wall if you want to, or chair or something for the better kickbacks. Actually, I'm just going to have my chair here, since I have it. <coughs> and so that I show you how it's better to do it with, with that, like that. Okay, so, kickbacks. And we just go with um, one leg 20 times. Okay, leaning forward, slightly bend this leg. And we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good, we're changing the legs. You will feel the tension in the standing leg. And we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 19, last one, 20. All right, oh, you must have felt it in your glutes a bit. So the activation is not a main workout, it's just to feel a little bit tension in your glutes. Okay, so now we're gonna have a banded leg side abductions. So we're not going to go into the extended leg, but we're going to do the bended and we're going to open up. All right, so we have 20 per leg. Let's go shoulders back and down, abs engage, and we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good, we're changing the legs. You will feel it here. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so I'll show you from the side of it. You basically know uh, also from the back how it looks so that you have to really feel the tension in both of the glutes. And we go, so shoulders back and down, abs engaged. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, whew, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh. Oh, shake it off a bit, so it's good to shake it off. So also when you're doing these side abductions, don't try to lean like that, all right? Try to make your body stable, abs engage, and you open it up. Okay, so we did the side glutes as well with this one, uh, more or less, and the glutes maximus as well. So my chair goes back where it belongs. So. Whew. When you take the power band off, you actually feel super light. I don't know, my legs just feel like flying. And now we're going to go into our workout. Uh, I'm going to go for three rounds, but you can always add up a round if you feel that this is maybe not enough for you, alright? Okay, let's go. Three rounds, so first is... Uh, Squat and then 10 reps and then five up pulses. Alright, let's go. So we're just slow. And down. Good. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good, nice one. Side lunge to curtsy, 10 reps per, per leg. Try to challenge yourself with uh, both weights. Okay, there we go. Side lunge, hips back. Okay, and then you can come up with the weights when you're doing the curtsies. Okay, who's one? When you do the curtsies, try to make your hips. Uh, straight forward, okay? Do not rotate them like back, like this. Just down. That's three. Push it. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're going to the other side. Breathe. One. Two, three, the inner thighs will work here as well. Four, five, six, seven, You can totally do so. Maybe I will as well. 
but this one adds up a little bit of a cardio as well. Ready? Hinge back in your hips, abs engaged, ground your feet, and we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight.
four, five, six, seven, Good. 
if you can continue, continue. I'll take some break. And we go. curtsy, at least in my opinion, but we can do this. Okay, let's go. One. Even have a little bit of the deadlift here. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight.
Take a rest if you need to. I show you do today more than usual. And we go. Side lunge to the other side. Let's go. 20 more. And then final exercise before the burnout. Oh my god. Even the burnout now. Oh. It's all in your mind now. Don't give up, okay? Now the changes are there to happen. To get you a stronger athlete. You have to push through no matter what, okay? Unless you feel like sick or something or dizzy, don't do that. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight,
go. One, two, three, four, five, six, quads and your hamstrings. Awesome. Okay, next one. We have two pulls on top and then lower all the way down. So this is only 10 reps. It's gonna feel an intense at the same time. So I have to always come up like this because I'm a little bit too short for this bench. But if you have it you can just load your 
our body with weights on your on your on the bottom, okay? So when you're here. Let's go. So one, two, tiny pulls, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you for training with me and I'll see you tomorrow with another workout. Ciao.